Welcome back to my Let's Play for Moimon, my mono bug run. I suppose it's time to take care of a certain Team Rocket member, as well as begin picking up some useful items in Vermilion City. If we'll have enough time to get to the boat, I'm not sure, but we'll see. Depends how long it takes to get down there. If not, I'll be doing another episode for the boat. I may not cover, um, Lieutenant Surge, because I'm not sure if I got a team ready to really take on the Master of Electricity. Well, closest we're going to get to a Master anyway. Now let's see, I guess we can go with, um, focused energy, then try and go for some, you know, fury attacks and hope we get lucky with a few critical hits. Because that's really all I got. I don't have any super effective moves to throw at this Machop, really. I mean, I guess I could switch out and go for some confusions, but I'm hoping to let the sector get a few kills, you know? I worked hard to get her up the level, so be nice to use it a bit. And plus, I resist, you know, Machop's attacks anyway, so, you know, there's no real reason to switch beyond expedience. Darn it. Sure, you get a critical hit, but I'm still struggling to get one. This blows. And I'm throwing out more attacks, too, and I still haven't gotten a critical hit. <sighs> it's not fair. Well, go the poison sting for a finishing blow, I suppose. Don't, yeah, as I say, don't you dare tell me that was a critical hit when it was about dead. I would not have been pleased. That wouldn't have been the bee's knees, man. Well, time for a twin needle. Oh, oh down goes the drowsy. Those enhanced defenses didn't save it from my twin needle attack. But I have to wonder how we survived that, to be honest, you know. Because Twin Needle seems like it's, you know, the Stinger attack going out, so... Wouldn't I lose my Stinger? Does Beedrill just, like, instantly regenerate them, like... You know, Arlong does his teeth in One Piece or something. And you didn't really return it, because I'm taking it for myself now. Ha <laughs> ha! What? No one ever decided to give it back. Sadly, we can't get Aerial Ace yet. I was hoping to pick that up soon for, um, Paris. That way I can throw it against certain targets to more readily grind on them. Yeah, Paris probably ain't gonna be up to snuff for a while yet. Probably put some time leveling up though eventually. <sighs> Just don't have the right moves yet. Oh yeah, she likes to trade, but I'm not interested in that. Well, time to see who's got the better bugs. I might as well take out everyone on this route anyway, since I'm going to be using the Averse Seeker a bit, probably, for some grinding. So let's see you know, who's got the good stuff and who's got the junk. Because it's been a while. Well, I know one thing. This trainer's got junk. I mean, you're starting off with a Weedle, and you have three Pokemon. I'm going to assume, you know, you don't have any fully evolved Pokemon. And Weedle has, you know, terrible payouts, so... Best avoided here. But let's see if um focus energy pays off this time. Well Yes it did. Good. I mean it doesn't make up for last time, but still. It's an improvement, you know. Oh, Caterpie? Uh not even a metapod or a butterfree, you go with Caterpie. Why would you raise a Caterpie to level sixteen? I know I do this every time I see this, but it just bugs me so much. And that wasn't even meant to be a pun or a play on words there. It just really gets underneath my skin seeing, you know, a level 16 Caterpie. Like, unless you're doing a challenge run for yourself or something, why would you raise a Caterpie above level, like, 9? Like, I can understand skipping Harden and then evolving at level 9 to Metapod so you can then go one more level into Butterfree. But level 16? I mean... Come on. I'm just saying, there are better options available to you at this point. You should have taken them. Especially when bug catchers constantly brag about the fact, you know, their Pokemon are powerful because they evolve super early. So there's no reason why they wouldn't evolve them as soon as possible. Other than narrative convenience, apparently. Ooh, we get two critical hits. Well, 
takes care of the Weedle, at least. And we're free to move on to someone else. Sad part is we might be relying on Sector to help us take down... <sighs> Lieutenant Surge. Though I suppose Butterfree could always try and go for a sweep with Sleep Powder, but... I have my doubts how effective that will be, you know, considering I'm weak to electric attacks. Um, I might have a reason to actually level up Paris here in Diglett's Cave. Okay, go for some more focused energy here. Nah, that's probably gonna hurt. Eh, could've been worse. Time for a Twin Needle. Uh, I was hoping for a critical hit on one of them. I held off on, you know, Fury Attack as it sometimes misses, so that's fair. You know, I go with Twin Needle instead. <sighs> I guess I'll somewhat regret that considering it's using Withdraw to nerf my attacks again. You might as well just attack me at that point. You're going down next turn regardless. You know, I have, en I have enough Twin Needles left, I'll pierce those defenses on the double hit. <sighs> well, that's that. Ricky? Oh, is he from the knockoff Rocky movie? Ricky 1. I don't know if they made a Ricky 2. <laughs> of course, the only reason I know about Ricky 1 is from, um... What? A ABGN? Yeah. Because he got challenged by Nostalgia Critic to do a... Nostalgic movie while... Nostalgia Critic would do a video game. Like, let's change things up, for no real reason. Who could have missed? Like, that hyper thing would have killed me. Well, time to tear this rat tat apart. With a critical hit that wasn't even needed. Darn, I should have just went straight for the twin needle, I guess. But I figured being pumped might have been helpful, because, you know, we got two Pokemon here, so... We'll see. Oh, Pikachu? Eh, I guess we're gonna have to worry about Stack Touch here, I think. Because I imagine, you know, Twin Needle's a physical attack, but... Oh, well, if the sector gets paralyzed, we'll switch to someone else. We still have Butterfree. Uh, I can't understand why. Lucy sucks. Better than you, though. That's not much of an achievement, is it? Elijah, huh? Man, every time I hear that name, it just makes me think of Elijah and the Bears. Not pretty. Well, let's see. Let's turn probably only get one turn, because he's got confusion, I assume. We might as well go out with, you know, a bang here. Supersonic? Why would you use Supersonic? Ugh, that makes no sense. I mean, if you're gonna have a status move, why wouldn't you use Sleep Powder? Or Stun Spore? <laughs> Trying to go for, um... The Annoyings Factor, huh? Try to run the most annoying Butterfree possible with status effects, great. <sighs> Try this again. That's the only thing I know how to do is spam status. That's not gonna always work, you know? I mean, you may have paralyzed me, but that's a mild inconvenience somewhat. Oh, yeah, this guy probably screwed you there because that was her pigeons. Gosh darn it. Ugh. Guess I'll have to see if I have a cure for that. Well, I know one for, for sure. You don't want to kill this thing faster next time. Great. And back to being confused again. Huh? Well, didn't hit off successfully, but I'm paralyzed, so it doesn't matter. Ugh, come on. This is just one dragged out fight here. Come, 
doesn't have any attack moves. I was expecting it to tackle me or spam confusion or something, but it keeps going supersonic non-stop. Like, it can't do anything else besides that in Stun Sport. <sighs> it's annoying, but it's not a winning strategy. Like, you gotta have some actual attacks in there as well. Especially something like Headbutt. Because that would just be truly dastardly. <sighs> it's not that I'm too good, it's that you're not very good at all, man. You rely too much on stats enough, and not enough on doing some actual damage. I got no way to cure my status condition. Great. Well, I can get around one of them. Because I'm pretty sure she runs a team of Pidgeys. And getting around those would be a royal pain in the backside, you know, without access to sleep powder fast. Oh, great. And it screws up again? Well, at least he used it too. This blows. Better get like four or five hits here. <sighs> Only three. Well, try and finish off with a poison sting. <sighs> that was <sighs> close. Oh, my luck, it's got quick attack. But, I'll try and go with Twin Needle. Yeah, I thought so. <sighs> oh, well. It is my choice not to use my own Super Potion up. Or did I have a couple of them? Regardless, I decided to wait. Because I thought I could make this work without having to use it. Oh, great. He's trying to use a flinch strategy on me now. <sighs> Man, some of these trainers on this route are really irritating. Though it probably doesn't help that my Pokemon can't finish them off quickly because, you know, bugs. Gosh darn it. Well, at least we can take this one down like three hits. Though that's not much of a compliment, is it? Because, let's face it, that's still three hits. And with paralysis in play, who knows how long it's going to take me to pull that off. Oh good, slept another turn. And we got it. Okay. Now I'll start picking up some items like the bike voucher and first seeker. And yeah, we're going to have to leave the boat until next time. It's going to take a bit too much time to pick up the items we can pick up in town. First things first. Yeah, I've had there's about a lot of people all over again for the extra dough, man. I mean, let's face it, extra cash is the best. Sadly, we can't buy TMs yet, but I'm definitely going to have to pick up a Hyper Beam or two. Just uh, throw them around, you know? I might give Beach Real um, Hyper Beam and Drop Fury Attack. I mean, it does work better, I suppose, with Focus Energy, but. I oh, don't know. Here, there, I'll drop Poison Sting. The Poison Sting gives me a way to at least try and kill Grass types. Then again, Twinny will be a better option for that anyway. Yeah, I know you do. Can you please tell me your boring story so I can get a bike voucher? After all, you do have a Pokemon that can fly, so you don't really need a bike voucher. Unlike me, who has to run everywhere, which is just exhausting, you know? I'm pretty sure one of these people have, you know, a uh, polka doll I have to trade back, you know, to get a ticket for like a. Nah, like, to get Mimic or something like that, yeah. At least that was the way it was in the original game, so I could see him doing that again. But next time, we're gonna be getting on a boat. Until then, see ya.